Welcome to AutoCAD Civil 3D back to basics number one and we're going to deal with surfaces just really creating surfaces from different different objects and the first video and this is number one in a whole series of back to basic videos um, what we're going to start with is the creation of a Civil 3D surface from an XYZ file, a point file, a CSV file. Um, the important thing is this is Civil 3D 2013. The UK country kit is installed and I'm using the UK IE DWT as a base, which should be the base of all your um, civil works within the uh, the UK. So to, to build a surface or to create a surface using a, a point file or XYZ, what we're gonna do, we just go to our tool space here, go to the prospector tab, and then open up the drawer and expand the drawing that we've got open and you can see we've got a whole range of things here the first thing we're going to do we're going to go to surfaces right click and we're going to create a surface and we'll just call this from point file so we know where we are and it's a triangulation surface we do have other options with grid volume grid surface grid volume surface and triangulation volume surface and that's your isopack analysis what we're going to deal with is solely the triangulation surface and as a style we would default to triangulation we can change that um, but there is a live session later in the month that will deal with that just press OK and that then allows us access to our surface from the point file now there's nothing in that surface that's just a data place to put and you can see there's lots of ways by expanding it there's lots of ways we can define that surface and as you can see we've got point files all the way down there we're going to deal with the other ones in separate videos but for the start we'll just do the point point files. so I just right click and add and you can see a dialog box opens up I can browse to my file and we got a, a file that's called topo all merged and it's an Excel comma separated it's a CSV file comma separated value and the format of it is a PNEZ so if I look down here you can see that we've got a PNEZ and it's comma delimited so if I select that you can see that we get a preview of a point number northern eastern Z burn and then just press OK and if I zoom extents you'll see that we've got a surface. Now, if I just select that surface, right click, go to Object Viewer, we can then confirm that the surface looks okay and that we haven't got any rogue points. 